Welcome back to Marshall Goldman and uh, welcome to uh, flannel weather in Ohio. <laughs> it's about 22 degrees outside. So we figured we'd kind of show a little bit of what we've got going on in inventory right now, seeing how we've got some extremely special cars uh, on you know, our website and also here in Ohio. A little bit warmer out of our Beverly Hills store. <laughs> uh, the first car we're going to look at is the Bugatti. Uh, this is a very, very, very special car. I'm sure most of you looking at the video today know what a Bugatti is, but these are just extremely cool. 1,500 horsepower. This car's got 400 miles, was over a $3 million build. Um, these vehicles are just working, rolling artwork. Um, beautiful, beautiful spec. I really like it because it's very understated. Some of the Bugatti builds out there are very loud and just in your face. This one really is very elegant uh, with the spirit blue accents on the bottom. Just very, very, very cool to have one of these in our inventory uh, and have the opportunity to put it into somebody's collection. Uh, the inside of these cars, again, I think just very, very subtle, very stated. Just business, which is just beautiful. Uh, you can hear the fuel pumps priming as you open the door for that massive W16 quad turbo engine. Just a beautiful, beautiful addition to our collection. And just again, going back to some of the things that we do get here, very unique. And speaking of unique, sitting right next to the Bugatti, we have a P1. Uh, this was a very cool uh, MSO bill. Uh, MSO for McLaren, which I'm sure most of you know is kind of special wishes, uh, you could say. Uh, very, very neat. I love the heritage orange on the P1, uh, along with the heritage orange accents that go inside of it. Um, very cool, very unique car. Again, another crazy opportunity to buy one of these cars in general. I mean, it was almost impossible to even buy one of these cars. We have one with near no miles on it. You can see it's a hybrid vehicle. <laughs> Everything from when it was new, from the car cover to all the accessories, this car literally is brand new. And what a unique opportunity to buy this car for close to what it window stickered for. And I know some people are going, oh my God, it's it's a used car. How can it be over window sticker? Well, these are the, this is the life that we live with the exotic car world. A lot of people, when these cars first came out, wanted an opportunity to even have one, let alone pay whatever they could to get one. Now we're able to offer one at close to MSRP, which is again, unbelievable. Some of the vehicles that we have here just transcend the gap. We have $16,000 Porsche Boxster S's and we have $3 million Bugattis in inventory. So I know today we're kind of going over some of the more expensive and unique items we have in inventory, but don't forget, we definitely have everything that spans the gap for any one. Uh, one of my favorite Mercedes, and I, you know, we did a review on the SLS Black Series that we also have in stock. I love these SLSs. This is a final edition SLS. Very few of these were made. Tons of exposed carbon fiber. These are definitely going to be a future collectible. They really already are collectible, but in the future, these cars are gonna to continue to appreciate, uh, I think along the same lines as the 993 turbos did. Really unique car, very special car. And again, I love the exposed carbon fiber on the final edition cars. Just really makes it pop out, kind of like the Black Series did. So again, if you haven't gotten on our website, you haven't seen some of the things we have to offer, you need to get on there. We've got a lot of cool stuff. You know, again, even if you're dreaming and you're on there looking at some of the crazy inventory that we have, like the Bugatti, uh, where we added a La Ferrari. Uh, we have a 1973 Dino Ferrari. We have so many cool and unique and uber exotic cars. But again, we also have some, some what I would consider normal in our realm of what we do. And speaking of one really cool, let's call it normal car, but really cool spec car uh, right behind Justin, he's going to show you is our GT3. Uh, this is a 991 GT3. The cool thing about this car, I think, is the spec of it. So this car has the striping of the, the GT3 4.0, which hands down, I'm a, if you're a Porsche nut like me, the 4.0 is kind of like the holy grail. Uh, we definitely had a chance to offer a few 4.0s for sale, uh, but this car just kind of pays a little homage to it uh, with the striping. Really cool spec. These 991 GT3s are extremely affordable now. Uh, these cars, again, used to command over window sticker. Now they've settled down in their valuation. 
and they're really leveled out. So owning these cars, or what I tell my clients, the cost of ownership of owning this car is extremely cheap, especially if you're a guy like me who gets in and out of cars a lot. You know, I'm constantly trading in and out of cars. Uh, it's, it's an addiction, <laughs> as most of us know, but these cars are easy to own and very easy to get in and out of as far as depreciation. Um, so if you haven't considered or you were considering a 991 GT3 and haven't checked the market pricing on them yet, these cars have really settled down into the market and are an amazing purchase uh, and low cost of ownership. Um, one of the other unique things, and again, say we span the gap, we've got a thousand mile SL600. I love these cars. I mean, any, any car guy, you love the SL. The SL is just the quintessential car for Mercedes. And you know, with the death of all of the V12s, these cars are really starting to come into their own. People are really looking back and starting to appreciate what a special car these were. I mean, this was almost $200,000 car for Mercedes. And not that Mercedes didn't make expensive cars, but $200,000 is extremely high price for a Mercedes. People couldn't, couldn't stop buying them. Mercedes couldn't produce enough. Then these cars kind of went away and the values went way down. And now the values have really started to come up. And, and, and especially for the unique cars like this, this is a very unique color. Uh, it, it's considered silver. I don't know if we have it listed on here. I'm not versed on my Mercedes colors. Now this is really gonna look silly me saying it. Tellurum Silver, T-E-L-L-U-R-I-U-M. I'm sure somebody on the internet can correct me on it, but very cool silver. It's like a bluish silver if it's, if it's coming through on the camera. And again, what a really cool, special Mercedes that can be bought under $100,000, half off. These cars in the future are going to continue to get rarer and rarer and harder and harder to find, especially with low miles, and they're gonna to continue to appreciate. So if you've been thinking about adding a V12 to your collection, like most people have been, because of course the death of the V12, the V12s are gonna basically no longer be produced, this is something to look at. Uh, we've got two SL65s in stock, uh, and actually we just had one of my favorite body styles, was a 99 SL500 um, in stock. These SLs are really starting to catch uh, an appreciation and they're really going to start increasing in value so right now it's definitely the time to move into a v12 mercedes if you were considering doing so um, let's walk down and see what else we've got in our collection so one of the hardest to come by cars now uh, as far as in the ferrari world is concerned in modern ferraris has become the 458 uh, the 458 is such an amazing car and i've said this before and i'll continue to say it uh, this is what changed me from being a Porsche guy to a Ferrari guy. Uh, the 458 is just holds an amazing importance inside of the Ferrari lineup. And the 458 Coupes have become such an amazing price point car that they are near impossible to get. Uh, if you get on the internet and you're looking for 458 Coupes, unless you really want to extremely overpay for one, uh, they're hard to find. Uh, we actually just got this in. This car has not gone through our detail process yet, but I felt it was kind of important to put it on the inventory review because these things go quickly. Uh, so this 458 Coupe wears most of what I would consider the important options. Uh, it has the updated wheels. Uh, it's a Nero Daytona, so it's a black metallic, which will definitely pop once we get a good detail on it. Inside, uh, it's a, it's a, I believe it's a Coyo interior. It's either Coyo or tan. Uh, we have the F1 carbon fiber steering wheel. It does have the front lift system on it. Um, really, really, really amazing, hands down Ferrari. Uh, these cars will be a major future collectible. These cars will continue to appreciate in price. There is no doubt in my mind that the 458 has cemented itself inside of Ferrari history as being one of the most current, most amazing, <laughs> most important cars that Ferrari has built in a long time when it comes to the normal Ferrari. Of course, I'm not comparing it to the TDF. I'm not going to compare it to the La Ferrari, the Speciale Perta, uh, or any of those. I'm just saying as far as Ferrari's production vehicles, which, you know, I mean, I'm gonna consider this a production vehicle being that, you know, it, it was produced a lot more, it wasn't a special edition. Um, but the transmission, the, the, the styling, this car is just hands down one of the most amazing vehicles you're ever gonna drive. So if you haven't considered a 458, or if you are considering a 458, 
Now's the time. These cars are going to continue to move north and they're going to continue to do that. They're not going to go backwards. Uh, so if you've been considering one, again, like I said, it's something you definitely want to get under our website and check out. Uh, and we were just talking about the SL600s and here's the other SL600 that we have. Again, the same color, which I think is super cool. This bluish silver is just amazing. These wheels were special to the 600. Um, just, you know, and, I, and I'll continue to say it and be monotonous in saying it, these are just a special car. The death of the V12 has really brought out a lot of people and their appreciation for the V12. I mean, it was an amazing engine. Uh, it was a huge torque monster. Uh, and, you know, just the SL is absolutely one of Mercedes' most historic model lines, almost as historic as the S-Class. So you, these are something that you could purchase this vehicle and put this in your collection, enjoy it, and this car is going to appreciate it. This is going to, this car is going to make you money. And it's very often that I say that a lot of people who aren't in the car industry, especially in the exotic car industry, they laugh and they say, oh, cars are depreciating assets, aren't they? They are. I'm not going to sit here and say they aren't. But there's definitely a lot of my clients that make money buying cars like this. They buy cars like this, put them in their collection, they appreciate, and they cash out of them, kind of like a stock. So that's my mindset when I look at some of these cars, like the 458, the SL600, uh, by, by all means, the McLaren P1 and the SLSs. I mean, these are cars that are going to be future appreciating vehicles. These cars are currently appreciating now on the same lines as the Porsche Turbos. And if you're a car guy and you follow the car industry, you've seen that the air-cooled Porsche Turbos have hit a huge spike. They came back down a little bit, but they've still settled well where they were at before. You could have bought a, an air-cooled Porsche Turbo in the $60,000 range, and right now that same $60,000 investment in that Porsche Turbo is going for almost close to $200,000 and you've had a Porsche Turbo in your garage the whole time, which is an amazing thing. You know, I mean, the stock market's a stock market. I mean, Apple stock is great to say you have some, or right now, of course, Tesla is a great stock to say you have some. But to be able to say you have a Porsche Turbo in your garage and everybody's going, oh man, how much money did you lose on that? And say you, you made over $100,000 on it. That's, that's the name of the game, especially when you're a car guy. The name of the game is being able to own something that you love, that appreciates in value, and that you know you may never sell it, but at least if you do sell it, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna realize some profit. So again, get on our inventory site, check some things out. If you have questions, by all means, you can always call in and ask for me. My name's Arthur. Most of you haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> uh, you can get me on Instagram at Arthur the Car Guy if you prefer Instagram, wanna DM me on there, um, but you know, definitely get our inventory. Check out some of the special stuff we have. If you're local enough and you want to come down, by all means, come down. Check out the Bugatti. Not very many times in people's lives you're going to be able to see one of those cars along with the P1. Uh, you know, we keep so many special cars here uh, by, you know, by any stretch of the means. You know, it, it's outside of people's imagination what kind of cars we have here. And some of them aren't even listed on the website. So call in, come in, whichever you'd like. Uh, and in the meantime, you know, enjoy the video and we're going to update you again on some inventory and hopefully we'll have some cool stuff next time around.